Good afternoon, everyone. My topic of presentation is dental autopsy, a neglected necessity. So what is a dental autopsy? Dental autopsy is a post-mortem examination of oral structures to identify the disease, and it also aids in finding the possible cause of death. So why do we need to do an, uh, a dental autopsy? As enamel of our teeth is the hardest tissue, it can res uh, resist decomposition. So identification of an unknown mutilated bodies or skeletal remains can be done by comparing dental records and by extracting DNA from the, from, uh, the tooth for dental profiling. And other than identification, oral autopsy will help in finding the possible cause of death. So uh, the, the, despite of its importance, it is not commonly practiced in India due to the lack of knowledge, awareness, and less number of forensic odontologists. And the dissection should not be uh, done in every cases. It should be done when it is required in cases where mouth opening is restricted due to rigor mortis and when we need immediate results. But in case of there in and if, if there is no case of urgency, then we can wait for the rigor to subside. So some of the findings of the oral autopsy, which aids in uncovering the cause of death are pink tooth phenomenon, which is seen in cases of asphyxia, maybe hanging or drowning. And in drowning and in cases, anti-mortem drowning and post-mortem drowning can be uh, diatom testing. It plays an important role in identifying that. And hemorrhage of tongue in cases of hanging and strangulation is seen. And in cases of sudden death due to epilepsy, we can see lip injuries and bite marks, especially on the laterals of the tongue. In cases of sexual abuse or rape cases, mainly enogenital findings are focused and oral findings are um, mostly given less important. And there is possible presence of erythema and dilated blood vessels on uh, the soft palate in such cases. And in arsenic, mercury, and cyanide poisoning, burns on face and mouth uh, with, uh, with four of the lips can be seen. And in lip poisoning, a bluish or purplish line on the gum that is known as the Burton's line is seen. And in drug overdose, froth on the nose and mouth, xerostomia, dental caries are mostly seen. And in dead by shooting or explosive, soot deposits are fine on the lips and teeth and tongue. And in cases of suicidal, mainly tongue and the palate is involved. And in infanticide, India is mainly a female in infanticide is a widespread social problem in India. And the presence of neonatal line in the enamel of a developing tooth germ can differentiate between stillbirth and the uh, live birth. And uh, the materials we use for uh, in autopsy is scalpel, retractor, elevator, chisel, mallet, portable x-ray unit, which uh, to take the radiograph of the uh, maxilla and the mandibular teeth arch, uh, and UV light, it mainly it is used to see uh, the restorative material such as composite resins, which has a high degree of mimicry with the teeth material. So with, it is not perceptible to our naked eye. So we use UV light and swabs we can use for collecting extra oral and intraoral uh, evidences such as uh, uh, blood, saliva, froth and all and camera and odontogram to record the findings. And techniques in extraoral, we can use petropsy, which is uh, non-destructible and with the help of uh, advanced imaging techniques such as CT, MRI, CBCT, petropsy is also gaining a lot of uh, in, um, wide uh, uh, importance. And in intraoral, we have strikers, autopsy show method. In here, incision is made from the angle of the mouth to the mandible of the teeth. It involves a mandible and maxilla, so removal of those maxilla and mandible. So uh, facial anatomy is not conserved in this method. And in mallet and chisel method, leaf fork one fracture is introduced to remove the uh, maxilla. 
and so even here the facial anatomy is not preserved and in conservative methods there are uh, Archimedes screw methods and Goda CVK and Goda CVK uh, I have uh, put a uh, the sketch picture of the method and here the in doing autopsy uh, consent from medical observe, uh, examiner is a must and photographs before the post-mortem and incision is made from the angle of the mouth to the tragus of the ear on both sides and the flap is reflected and the sectioning of the muscle and capsular ligament of the TMJ, opening of the oral cavity by the uh, fraction motion and following visualization of lower and upper arm, obtaining photographic record and removal of any foreign objects if present and charting in the autograph with description of any dental anomalies present and suturing is done. In, and as a conclusion, I would like to say with the emerging growth of forensic odontology, auto, oral autopsy is gaining acknowledgement in playing a vital role in solving the mysteries of death. The Interpol in 1997 gave Disaster Victim Identification Guide revised in 2009, which states, wherever appropriate, the examination of teeth in jaws should be carried out by a dentist with medical legal experience. We need to spread awareness that, so that dental autopsy is mandatory and train more forensic odontologists in dental autopsy for a better outcome in humanitarian as well as in medical jurisprudence. The contents of this pre presentation are referred from the references cited below. Thank you.